Why did the demons ask Jesus for the pigs? This story begins as Jesus walks into the region of the Decapolis called Gadarenes, which is at the east of River Jordan. Luke 8 verse 27 gives this account that a man who was possessed by demons was the first person to welcome him into this region after his sleep was disturbed the previous night on the sea, because his disciples could not calm the sea when they got into a storm, and he had to get up and perform yet another miracle by calming the sea. Now the Lord Jesus came into this region where there are a lot of less religious people, they don't care much about the law and customs of the Jews, and as he came, he was met with a man who had been possessed by demons for a long time. He was naked, and the demons didn't grant him the privilege to stay in the comfort and luxury of a home. He had to stay in tombs at the outskirts of the two, depicting that he has been totally taken over by those demons. Everything has been done to curtail this demon-possessed man. He has been tied by chains and shackles, and he will snap them off and free himself. Luke 8 verse 28 tells us what happened when the possessed man saw the Lord Jesus. When he saw Jesus he cried out, fell down before him, and with a loud voice said, What have I to do with you, Jesus, Son of the Most High God? I beg you, do not torment me. So the first observable thing here, is that the demons quickly came to submit themselves to Jesus, stating their case, and pleading that the Lord Jesus would temper justice with mercy. Luke chapter 8 verses 30 and 31, Jesus asked him, saying, what is your name? And he said, Legion, because many demons had entered him. Verse 31, And they begged him that he would not command them to go out into the abyss. Verse 32, Now a herd of many swine was feeding there on the mountain. So they begged him that he would permit them to enter them, and he permitted them. This leads us to the question many people are asking, which is, why did the demons ask to be sent into the pigs? This is what I'm going to answer in this video. But before we get into it, kindly hit the subscribe button, and I will get back to the video, immediately after you have done so. The first answer is found in one of the verses we have read, Luke chapter 8 verses 28, b, and 31. The demons are aware of something that some Christians and unbelievers don't know, which is, that they have a judgment day, and this day will be the day they will be cast into the bottomless pit. The demons knew this was not their time, and that's why they said we don't have anything to do with you yet, Jesus. Now demons are disembodied spirits which means that for them to operate in the earth realm, they need a body, and they must have thought that, if the Lord Jesus cast them out, he would not let them bother anyone, and so, he might need to send them into the abyss, even though it is not yet their time, but because he is the king of kings, and no one can question him. So, they begged to be sent into the pigs, so that they would have a temporary home before the pigs died, and they would go back into dry places, as the Lord Jesus described in Matthew chapter 12 verses 43 and 44. When an unclean spirit goes out of a man, he goes through dry places, seeking rest, and finds none. Verse 44. Then he says, I will return to my house from which I came. And when he comes, he finds it empty, swept, and put in order. So in the dry places, they could wait and come back to check, if there was still a vacancy, because the Lord Jesus in the flesh would have gone ahead with his ministry. This answer here has often exposed people to another question, which is if Jesus knew that the devil could still possess the person or someone else, why did Jesus negotiate or listen to the demons? Even though Jesus' ultimate goal is to liberate men from the oppression of the devil, we should still know that God is a God of principles and stands by his words, otherwise he would be just like any of us who cannot keep to our word. The fact that God is almighty and powerful does not make him act out of his own plans, and God plans that at a certain time, he will bind all the devils and cast them away. This is why the demons were quick to remind Jesus of this plan, and it is similar to what we Christians do when we see our businesses or health failing, and we remind God of his plan, either where he says, if you pay your tithe, I will open the windows of heaven and pour you out a blessing, Malachi chapter 3 verse 10. Or where he says, So you shall serve the Lord your God, and he will bless your bread and your water, and I will take sickness away from the midst of you. No one shall suffer miscarriage or be barren in your land. I will fulfill the number of your days. Exodus chapter 23 verses 25 to 28. So Jesus didn't negotiate with the demons. It was true that it was not yet time for them to be cast away forever, but they still had to plead and beg the Lord Jesus not to change his mind, to show that all power in heaven and on earth belongs to Jesus. That's all for today. If you enjoyed this video, kindly click the like button and the subscribe button. You may also share this video with your friends and family. Thank you for watching. See you at the next one. Cheers.